is the record of Mike Tyson. 27 victories, no losses, 25 knockouts, and the only two that weren't were against competitors who ran on him. Quick Tillis was one of them, and Mitch Blood Green was the other. I think Mike is visibly just trying to conceal his feelings, retain his calm. This is the first time he's been in an event anywhere near this magnitude. Opponents. We talked about the fact that the crowd doesn't either really like Trevor Burbick nor dislike him, and you can hear kind of a sense of apathy as he comes toward the ring. And there is Angelo Dundee, who will be in Trevor Burbick's corner for this fight. Burbick changes trainers about as often as most fighters change sparring partners. And of course, Dundee has been in the corner of many, many champions. There's Burbick's record, 31. Four and one. The meaningful fights he has all won or fought well. Fought people like Larry Holmes. He stopped Greg Page when nobody else had. And of course, the big upset over Pinklin Thomas. He was a six or seven to one underdog against Thomas. He opened as a six to one underdog tonight. And those odds have come down to about three or three and a half to one. Official age, uh, ring age is 33. He says he's 32. We give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, Mike Tyson says he's 5'11 and a half. We measured him against Ray Leonard the other day, and he looked more about an inch bigger than Ray at 5'10 and a half. Everything else speaks for itself. And Around the three knockdown rule, as in most championship fights, not in effect. And the ring doctor in the WBC, as opposed to the WBA, cannot stop the fight. So those are the rules. Now let's go up to the ring announcer, Chuck Hall, for the pre fight festivities. Chuck. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would ask you all to please remain standing as we present the National Games. The executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Harold Buck. The officials assigned by that body for the next bout of the night. The judges are Harry Gibbs, Dave Moretti, and Ruby Ortega. The timekeeper is Mike Morabito. Counting at the knockdowns, Charlie Roth. The attending physicians at ringside, doctors Donald Romeo and Cliff Omanskio, and neurosurgeon Kazem Fathi. Your referee for the next bout of the evening is Mills Lane. This next bout of the evening, presented by the dynamic duo and brought to you on behalf of Miller Lite. This is the main event of the night. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Championship of the World. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Catskill, New York, weighing 221 and one quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career with 27 wins, no defeats, 25 KOs. He is the challenger, Mike Tyson. And in the red corner, formerly of Jamaica, now fighting out of Miami, Florida, weighing 218 and one half pounds. His professional record consists of 31 wins, four defeats, one draw, and 23 KOs. He is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Trevor Burbank. Now listen, if you get in close and I tell you to break this stop punching and step back clean, any questions from the challenger, Chief Second? Any questions from the champion or Chief Second? All right, let's get it on. Come on. The key in this fight for Tyson is to be patiently aggressive, not to fling himself into clinches as he has done. The key for Burbick, in my judgment, is to hold him off and smother Tyson and hope for a long fight that wears him out. Burbick says it's imperative. He keeps his man in the middle of the ring. He says Tyson will not push me back like he's pushed other fighters back, and I'll push him back. And I think therein is another key to this fight, Ray. If Burbick can push Tyson back, easier said than done, but if he can, then he can be in the hunt. Well, what is, I feel it's imperative for both fighters to keep those hands hot. Both wearing black, Burbick with the high black stockings. Left hook, Tyson. What Burbick's trying to do, he's trying to overpower Mike Tyson. And he's abandoned doing what he normally does best, and that 
is to use his whole body, use those broad shoulders. That was a big right hand by Tyson. This crowd is right into this fight, right at the bell. I would not be surprised when these guys go down because they're throwing big shots and both fighters are a little cold, a little stiff here. Real tight. Right hand, Tyson, and a left behind it. Burbick, as he told us he would, trying to go to the uppercut so far ineffectively. Tyson has to be patient, as Larry stated, because he's fighting a guy that's been in the ring with top caliber fighters. So he knows how to uh, get a breathing, get that second win going. Another big left hook by Tyson. I mentioned this earlier, but Tyson's, Tyson's punches even sound different than most heavyweights. That was a temp of the uppercut by Mike Tyson. It wasn't a clean shot. Trevor appears to be trying to keep Tyson backing up, making him fight his foe. Another good left hand by Tyson, and a right behind it, and Burbick is rocked. Burbick in trouble here. Burbick just trying to get through the round. He's hurt, no question. but because he did show the patient aggressiveness that we talked about earlier. Always coming forward, Tyson. And the punches are short because he's coming forward and harder to see. We have to remember that Trevor Burbick has never been hit by punches as hard as he's being hit in this fight. And you'd never know how a man is going to respond to that. Tyson is everything that people could have hoped for in that round. Trevor Burbick, we should point out, has been down twice. There's another big shot by Tyson. Burbick in a heap of trouble. Down he goes. Punches are coming in such a succession that uh, Burbick can't deal with them. They're short, powerful, devastating punches. Burbick is still hurt. still seems to be not on solid legs at all here, Ray. Well, again, you notice that uh, my man's being patient. Tyson's being very, very patient, which was a big concern from a lot of other uh, boxing people. He's being patient against a, a guy that has a great deal of experience. 
He's not wasting any punches. Trying to tie Mike Tyson up here, just kind of hang on and get the cobwebs out. Oh, another big right hand, and Burbick is in trouble again. Tyson is perpetual motion, and the reason he's so dangerous, Burbick, because he continues to throw his punches. One thing I've noticed in Tyson, he actually turns southpaw because he can knock you out with either hand. He, get, he has good leverage because he keeps his, ba his balance. He missed with that uppercut, but didn't miss by much. That was a right to the body and an uppercut to the head, and Burbick is down. This one is going to be over, I believe. It's over. That's all. And we have a new era in boxing. Mike Tyson fought as perfect a fight as a man of his type of ability could possibly fight. He fought a very strong man, an experienced man. He was unfazed by the magnitude of the event. There is no praise high enough for Mike Tyson for fulfilling all of boxing's hopes for what he's done here. Amen. Well, that is just as complete a victory as I could remember seeing in the years I've done this sport. Well, it makes you speechless because of the way that Tyson demonstrated his talent. Here, the right hand that put Trevor Burbick in a great deal of trouble. And here's the first knockdown. Again, another looping right hand. And Tyson punches very well with both hands. That, it was a good display of punching power by Mike Tyson. And again, just to underscore the theme that Larry Merchant said, well, the final knockdown, we didn't see that beautiful uppercut too often. In fact, Tyson didn't need it. But it was a short left hook that did away with Trevor Burbick. Just tremendous shots and very quick hand speed. He set up the last knockdown with a shot to the body and came right back behind it. And you could see at this point that Trevor Burbick was not about to get back up. To understand the punch of power of Mike Tyson, all you have to do is watch this replay. And Trevor Burbick has a very durable chin. He has never been hit that hard that often by any fighter. Here's another look at it. Watch the shot to the body. There it is. It's missed a, with that right hand. It's such a short left uppercut, left left hook, I'm sorry. And uh, it was a one-punch knocker out, pretty much. It was not accumulation of punches. Just devastating punches. But again, as I started to say, to underscore the theme of this fight, as Larry Merchant mentioned, patience. It was a different Mike Tyson than we saw. He just tried to overpower people before, run at him, and just be bigger and stronger and faster. But tonight, I didn't see him waste too many punches at all. Well, Tyson knew, I think he knew what to expect from Trevor Burbick. He felt that Burbick was somewhat crafty and uh, very slick inside. But Mike Tyson did what Mike Tyson normally does, and that's fight. <laughs> yeah, and he does, that's with a capital F also. Well, I don't, you know, he just answered all the critics. Not that he had that many critics to begin with, but the questions that we talked about, you know, is it too much too soon? He really hasn't fought a name talent. Well, that will no longer be talked about, I'm sure. We will talk more about it, however. But right now, let's go up to the ring announcer. Chuck Hall will get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mills Lane stops the bout. At two minutes, 35 seconds of the second round, the winner by a TKO, and youngest and new WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Michael Tyson. So Mike Tyson, the youngest heavyweight champion in history at 20 years, uh, 20 years, four months, 22 days. What a victory for him tonight. You know, the thought that I had as Mills Lane was counting out, Trevor Burbick was, what must Michael Spinks be thinking at this point? Well, he knows fully well there is a monster lurking <laughs> somewhere out in the boxing ring. And Tyson being the, what, youngest heavyweight. But my son Ray, he's 13 today. Happy birthday, son. I'll be home tomorrow. 
God bless you. That's right. I was going to say that didn't get to it because of the second round. In fact, that may finish second to the fact that Eddie Murphy, who's here, phoned Little Ray. Little Ray isn't so little anymore. i got to point out to you, not the same kid you saw in those commercials. 20 years old, a heavyweight champion. How does it feel to be wearing this belt? Well, at the moment, I waited for all my life since I started the game of boxing. And as everyone said, um, that Burbick, Burbick didn't have a chance. Burbick was a very tough, very strong, in fact, very, uh, very strong. I was never expecting him to be as strong like that. I knew he was strong, but I didn't expect him to be as strong as me. And he was very strong. But I was, I was calm, and I was timing my punch. Every punch I do, I do a bad intention in a vital area. Everybody thought that the, the magnitude of this event, your youth, the fact that you have been a little too impatient in past fights, might make this a longer fight. How did you feel coming into this fight? How are you prepared to fight him? Well, I told everybody um, I, I anticipated on a knockout because I was so calm, so relaxed, and I had so much belief in myself. Because my trainer, Kevin Rooney, and I, I want to get in here. We sacrificed so much, and we put in so much, and I just knew we couldn't fail. What was your plan? What did you feel from him in the first round? Well, I, my, my plan was to stick my jab in his face, as you saw. It was hard in his face, and every punch was to throw with bad intention. That he right, did. We're going to take a look at the final knockdown to show. And would you describe it for us, Mike? Yeah, look at every punch. I'm, oh, right bad here. Intentions, bad intentions. Bad intentions. Mess miss. That miss. He's lucky. And I'm just waiting. Boom. Okay. Daddy, right off the temple. Moving, right off the temple. He's easy to hit. The guy's open for everything. Look at that. That's all I'm I'm the youngest champion ever in the history of the sport. My record will last for immortality. It would never be broken. And we're going to unify. Why is, it, why is it so important for you to have, to be immortal, to have a record that you feel nobody will ever break? Because I want to live forever. <laughs> That's all right. did, did he ever hit you with anything? He threw some punches and glass at me, but even if they hit it, I'm um, connect. I refused to get hurt, I refused to get knocked down, I refused to lose. There's no way in the world I was going to go out this ring walking. I had to be carried out. I, was, I had to be dead. There's no way I was going to leave this ring alive. I didn't it, it, looked, it looked early in the second round that he had already recognized your power and that he was starting to hold on and just survive even as early as that. Well, I don't know about that. If that was so, that was his problem. I was coming to destroy and win the heavyweight championship of the world, which I'd done. And I'd like to dedicate my fight to my great guardian, Custom Auto. And I'm, I'm sure he's up there and he's looking and he's talking to all the great fighters and saying his boy did it. And smiling, that's right. <laughs> what are your ambitions from here on out? To unify the title. Will you consider yourself really the youngest champion until you unify the title? Well, I consider myself the youngest. Look at the magnitude. Look, look what I draw here. Look at, the, look at the fans. Everybody came to see this fight. This fight was unbelievable. It's an exciting moment of my life. I, just, I still can't believe the audience and everything. Custom, and I would have to say the championship fight. Customato, when he first saw you at the age of 13, 14, he said to you, stay with me and you can be the heavyweight champion of the world. Yes. And you said, how do you know that? You just That's saw what me. I said. I said this is a crazy old white dude. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he saw in you? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. He's a genius. You, you can't. Everything he said happened. Isn't it true? Everything he said happened with That's me. Right. Was it that he saw in you just strength, or did he see? Do you, do you feel some kind of character strength? It had that to would be. Cuss always through. depended everything on character and determination. He saw I had the character, but not the experience. But he saw that I was good enough to fight more experienced fighters and win. Next, and he had the smart. <laughs> next month, next month, Tim Witherspoon fights Tony Tubbs. You will fight the winner. Give us your assessment quickly of that fight, and what do you think about your chances against either of them? I would, I would love to fight the winner. I don't know who the winner is going to be, but I would love to fight the winner. I'm champion of the world. I'll fight any man alive, and I feel I could be anyone in the world. And I'll take on all comers. Thank you very much, Mike Tyson.